Dude, I lost power. <laughs> oh ho. We are back. Yeah. So, how do you handle song requests while DJing? Do you play them or do you reject them? In today's video, I'm here to answer all your questions and giving you my opinion and ideas about dealing with them the right way. Let's go. Hello there boys and girls, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Deep and this is where I do a lot of DJing and tech related tutorials, tips and tricks to help you become a better DJ and to help you get better at using technology. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Now if you're a DJ, I'm sure you must have come across song requests while performing and this can be a distraction to a lot of DJs and to a lot of other DJs it can also be an opportunity to improve their DJ set. Well, how do you deal with these song requests? So dealing with song requests is something one must learn because it can either make your DJ set or break your DJ set. So first, let's discuss the biggest question of them all and that is should you take DJ requests or should you not take requests while performing? Some DJs absolutely hate requests in fact they also put signs in front of the dj console which says no requests and they are also very rude when someone walks up to them asking for a song request i'm not a jukebox go listen to your track on your phone on the flip side there are djs who don't mind requests in fact they're open to taking requests and if you ask me i belong to the second kind i don't mind requests but the requests will come there is no stopping from people coming and asking you for song requests so my recommendation number one is listen and judge in my opinion you should always listen to their song requests because being polite is a good thing and there's no harm in listening to their suggestion whether you play it or not is a different thing altogether but i recommend that you always listen to their request because the chances are it might be a good request a song that you haven't thought of or forgotten and maybe it'll mix well in your dj set so listening to your crowd can actually help in improving and shaping your dj set in a better way however it also depends on if that song request is a good song or a bad one so now when you get a song request you will have to ask yourself is this a good request can you play it at the venue that you're currently playing at will it be appreciated by the crowd or will it ruin the flow or the energy of the crowd this is a judgment you will have to make because no matter who comes up to you and asks you for say dancing queen or channa merea at a peak hour when the energies are up here you cannot play that song request because that will ruin the energy of the club entirely and the people will start moving around. You will no longer have any control over your crowd. And in some instances, the crowd can also boo you. But if it's a song that fits well, or maybe you were going to play that song anyways during the set, you can simply say, sure, I will mix that in and go ahead and play that track as soon as you can in the mix. Handling good requests is easy. You just fit them in when you can and everyone's happy. And now comes the difficult part, how to handle bad requests, requests that you cannot play no matter what. You see, there can be three situations in this. The easy bad requests, requests that you can simply ignore, then the regular bad requests, which you'll have to find a way to skip. And then comes the difficult bad requests, requests that you know that no one will like but you'll have to play them because someone is pointing a gun at you let me tell you how to get out of each situation starting with the first one easy bad request so let's just say that there is this drunk person who comes up to you and says can you please play my song my first rule of thumb for bad requests by drunk people just say no i'm sorry i cannot play your track if they come back just say sure let me play that for you and then ignore it that person is drunk he or she will probably not remember it and chances are that that person is stuck in a toilet somewhere throwing up don't bother about them and if they come back and ask you for the song again just tell them that you played that track already and they were too drunk to notice it deep are you asking your viewers to lie of course not i'm just asking you to save a situation and if you have to lie to save a situation so be it but don't lie otherwise the gods are watching but beware you cannot do this to anyone else to people who are not drunk because that person might get really pissed off and he might also come and try to beat you up because that person knows that you were trying to lie to them and now the second kind of bad request where that person is not drunk but that person is coming back to you begging you to play that particular track the easiest way to get out of this situation is by simply telling them i wish i could play your track but i'm sorry i don't have that track and that person might say oh my god you don't have this song just say no i don't have it that person cannot do anything about it it's not that you're not playing that song request you just don't have that song 
Nobody can do anything about that situation. They might come and say, play that track on your phone. Just tell them you don't have a headphone jack on your phone. And that's the thing in 2021. You don't have a headphone jack on your phone. I don't have a headphone jack on my phone. So you can't connect. And if you have a headphone jack or if they come and give you a phone that has a headphone jack, just tell them you don't have an aux cable. You don't have a cable to connect that to the mixer. <laughs> I mean, what else can they do? And by this time, most people give up. Just tell them, I'm sorry, I wish I could play your track, but I don't have it. And then smile at them and tell them, you will get it next time and just get over it. But if you're not playing that track, never say yes, I will play that track because you will go ahead and raise their hopes and that person will keep coming back to you and that person will distract you even more. So just say, sorry, I don't have it. One person hates you, but that's okay. You're out of the situation and we can all move on. Now comes the last situation and that is that you have to have to play that track because that person is sitting on top of your head. You know that no one's gonna like that track, but you still have to play it because that person is not going to let you go. You don't have a choice. Maybe because that person is the club owner's friend or if it's a private party and that person is from the host side, a family member or the brother of the person who booked you. Whatever the case is, you will have to play this. Now, how do you get out of this situation without taking the blame of spoiling the party? Now, let me tell you how I handle this situation. You get your song ready and then you invite that person onto the console, ask them to stand next to you and then maybe take the mic and announce it. Ladies and gentlemen, playing this gentleman's request. And if you know their name, just announce it. Playing David's request. And that is when everyone knows that it's not your choice of track. It is something that you're doing because you've been asked to do by this gentleman. And now when you play that track, everyone in the party or in that club is going to look at that person who requested for the track and let them know that it's a bad request. The people might even come up to you and ask you to change that song and they might even go to that person and ask them to get out of the console. You can just look at that person, validate that you're going to change the track because no one likes it and then just change the track and restart your DJ set. That person got a reality check and you saved your own now right after this situation, everyone at the party will now step back in case they have a request and they will not come up to you and ask you for a song request because they are worried that they might spoil the mood of the party. Congratulations, you are now out of the situation and now you can play your DJ set without any distractions. But make sure you don't insult that person directly. Don't take the mic and start pointing out comments on that person for giving you bad requests. No, don't do that. Just ignore the situation and move on. So there you have it. That is how I handle song requests and maybe these are my recommendations on how to handle song requests for you guys as well. Trust me when I say this, I've been doing this for a really long time. After DJing for 10 years and playing for a lot of private parties, I have come across a lot of situations where there are very bad requests and in some instances there are really good requests as well. But as I told you just now, this is how I handle my requests. Well, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video today and that you guys got to learn something new. If you guys did, please don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with your friends. And while you're at it, it'll be nice if you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. That's been it. My name is Deep and I will see you guys in the next one. Happy to help.